Hi, I'm Phoebe Everill from the Phoebe Everill School for Wood. Parallel clamps. Every woodworker needs to have a couple of pairs of these in their workshop. These Torcatas come in three different sizes. Uh, today I've got the 300s and we're going to do a really simple join, just two boards together as you would for a tabletop. These Torcatas come with a couple of nice features. Uh, they come with a soft closing jaw, which also stops you from marking your work. And they've also come with spaces. Now this becomes an advantage when I want to sit the work onto, you can see how easily I can take and place a spacer in. When I want the work to sit parallel with the clamp, simply tighten it up. Okay. This, the little spacer here is giving us an advantage. It's keeping the work off the bar and it's also keeping the bar clean. When you really tighten up a clamp, you can actually see the bar flex. So the spacer is a really good idea to keep the uh, bar away so you don't actually distort the work. Okay, so you've just bought a pair of these. Um, and my first job when I take them straight out of the packet is to put just a very light layer of wax down the metal arm. And what that's gonna do for you is it's gonna keep these sliding really nicely but also, it's, if you do get any uh, wax drying onto the surface, it'll just flick off after you've done your glue up. Before we glue anything in the workshop, can I suggest that the most important thing that I teach uh, all students is to have a practice run. As soon as you approach with a bottle of glue, the whole job will go pear shaped. So we have to practice. So the first thing I'm gonna do is literally set the clamps. I'm presuming that you've got two pieces of wood that are straight and square so that when I actually put them together and put them in the clamps I'm going to get a really sweet clean line. So by practicing I mean pull the clamp apart, get the distance right so that it's actually going to sit in the work, the work's going to sit inside the clamps nicely and then the second one because I'm going to use two so I just measure off the first one and I have it sitting to the side. Okay, I put something down to protect the bench. Just a piece of cardboard in this case. You can use plastic, you can use uh, whatever you like. And I'm using a uh, type one glue today. This, the timber is Myrtle uh, from Tassie. Uh, this polyurethane glue will foam up. So please don't be too generous with it. You really just need to use a small amount of the glue. I put it down to the cardboard or plastic as I said and I just shim the work backwards and forwards. And what I'm looking for now is just a little bit of suction which will naturally occur when you put those two flat surfaces together. The clamps are already at the right size and I'm now just applying a little bit of tension. I don't want to put a lot on because what happens now is things slide around. As I said, as soon as you approach with the glue, everything goes, goes to hell. Okay. One of the things that's really nice about these clamps is I can actually stand the work up and I can have a good look at it. So by that I mean I can check if the square, check if the work is staying nice and true and straight which in this case is pretty good. Don't put too much tension on. Uh, it always upsets me when I watch people clamping up because they are cramping the clamps really hard. If your joinery isn't good, it's not gonna come together. So go back to the start and get those surfaces square. I'm only doing a small piece here, as in short lengths. If I was doing a larger piece, I would always bring a third clamp in as an opposing clamp. 
Um, how are we going to do this one? I'm just going to lie it back down onto the ply. And we'll go with the one hand clamp this time because it's the closest one I had to hand. Which is always the most useful clamp in the workshop. And then just bring that third one in. And what that's doing is now balancing or helping to balance the force of... And I just, just check across the work, make sure that's terrific that we're staying nice and flat. Now, if it wasn't flat, what I can do then is simply increase the pressure on this one, reduce the pressure on these ones, and I can change, if I've created an angle, I can flatten it out by changing the positions of the clamps. Again, the most important thing you do is practice. Have a dry run before you actually apply the glue, because once you've applied the glue, you're, you're already in commitment land. The Torcata Parallel Clamp also comes with a really nice feature, uh, which are these little spaces which clip onto the bar and they perform a couple of jobs for us. They help you to keep the bars clean because the glue will not attach. Uh, you've got a little gap between the work piece and the clamp bar itself. Let me just let the, let's adjust those back a little bit just so you can see what they can do for us. The other thing is that when you've got a lot of force on a clamp, what happens is the bar bends slightly. And if you don't have these spaces in place, what you can do is end up with the bar sitting on your work. Now, particularly when you're using a PVA glue, a water-based glue, what you may well get is a black mark from, that, from the bar touching your work. So I recommend you use them with the spaces in place. These, as you can see, are not for carpentry. These are furniture maker's clamps. Really good if you've got a few sets of these in your workshop. Tokata Parallel Clamps, available exclusively from Timbercon online, timbercon.com.au, or of course in the Melbourne or Perth stores. Just really talking too much. <laughs> <laughs>